For years, enormous stones have been moving across the racetrack playa of Death Valley National Park, leaving engraved trails in the muddy surface behind. No one understood how, though there were a bunch of speculations. And now, a group of scientists say the mystery has been solved. A team led by paleobiologist Richard Norris from University of California, San Diego, decided to monitor a set of test rocks that were deliberately placed on the lake bed in the winter of 2001. The rocks were watched remotely using a high-resolution weather station, and they were watched for a long, long time, because the stones can sit for more than a decade without moving. Norris said in a release that the team expected to wait for 5 or 10 years without anything moving. But around the end of 2013, the rocks began moving. Okay, I just gotta say, uh, best job ever. Getting paid waiting around for rocks to move. Not trying to downplay the significance of this finding, but can you imagine how the funding process went? Yeah, uh, we need a bunch of money to fund this project. Uh, we're gonna go monitor rocks and see if they move. Probably take us like, you know, only five to 10 years. In December 2013, researchers discovered that the playa was covered with a pond of water about 7 centimeters deep. Rock movements occurred shortly after. The team was able to chronicle a set of events that set the rocks in motion. First, the playa fills with water that must be deep enough to form floating ice, but shallow enough to expose the rocks. When nighttime temperatures dip, the pond forms thin sheets of ice which can move freely, but are thick enough to maintain strength. Then when the sun comes out, the ice melts and breaks up into large floating panels, and light winds drive these ice panels across the lake bed, pushing the rocks in front of them and leaving trails in the soft mud. Rocks moved under light winds at about 3 to 5 meters per minute by ice that was only 3 to 5 millimeters thick. The rocks remained in motion for a few seconds to 16 minutes. Researchers say they observed some rocks traveling more than 60 meters in one motion. Because they only used small test rocks, the scientists say they can't be 100% sure about their theory since they haven't observed how the bigger, heavier rocks moved. So guys, the mystery is not completely solved. How did these massive giant rocks move about? Maybe through the same conditions as smaller rocks, but maybe not. Personally, I like the mystery of it all, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys feel the mystery of the sailing rocks has finally been revealed? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. All right, thanks. See you later.